Cindy and Michael need one gallon of orange paint for the giant cardboard pumpkin they are making for Halloween. Cindy has two-fifths of a gallon of red paint. Michael has got half a gallon of yellow paint. If they mix their paints together, will they have the one gallon they need? So let's think about that. We're going to add the two-fifths of red paint, and we're going to add that to, or two-fifths of a gallon of red paint, and we're going to add that to half a gallon of yellow paint. And we want to see if this gets to being one whole gallon. So whenever we add fractions, right over here, we're not adding the same thing. Here we're adding two-fifths. Here we're adding one-halves. So in order to be able to add these two things, we need to get to a common denominator. And the common denominator, or the best common denominator to use, is the number that is the smallest multiple of both 5 and 2. And since 5 and 2 are both prime numbers, the smallest number is just going to be their product. 10 is the smallest number that we can think of that is divisible by both 5 and 2. So let's rewrite each of these fractions with 10 as a denominator. So with 10 as a denominator. So 2 fifths is going to be something over 10. And 1 half is going to be something, something over 10. And to help us visualize this, let me draw, draw a grid. Let me draw a grid with tenths in it. So that's that. And that's that right over here. So each of these are in tenths. These are 10 equal segments this bar is divided into. So let's try to visualize what 2 fifths looks like on this bar. Well, if we were to divide, right now it's divided into tenths. If we were to divide this bar into fifths, then we're going to have, so that's 1. Actually, let me do it in that same color. So it's going to be, it's going to be so this is 1 division, 2, 3, 4. So notice, if you go between the red marks, you are going, these are each a fifth of the bar. If you go between the red marks. And we have two of them. So we're going to go 1 and 2. This right over here, this, this part of the bar, represents 2 fifths of it. Now let's do the same thing for 1 half. So let's divide this bar exactly in half. So exactly in half. So let me do that. So I'm going to divide it exactly in half. And 1 half literally represents one of the two equal sections. So this is 1, 1 half. Now, to go from fifths to tenths, you're essentially taking each of the equal sections and you are multiplying by 2. So to go from fifths to tenths, you're multiplying by 2. You have five equal sections. You split each of those into two, so you have twice as many. And you now have 10 equal sections. So those two sections that were shaded in, well, you were going to multiply by two the same way. Those two are going to turn into, those two are going to turn into four tenths, four tenths. And you see it right over here when we shaded it initially. If you look at the tenths, you have one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, and four tenths. Let's do the same logic over here. If you have two halves and you want to make them into ten tenths. You have to take each of the halves and split them into five sections. You're going to have five times as many sections. So to go from 2 to 10, to go from 2 to 10, we multiply by 5. So similarly, that one shaded in section that in yellow, that's going to turn into five. That one half is going to turn into five tenths. So we're going to multiply by 5. Another way to think about it, whatever we did to the numerator or whatever we did to the denominator, we had to do to the numerator. Whatever we did to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. Otherwise, we're changing somehow. We're changing the value of the fraction. So 1 times 5 is going to get you to 5. And you see that over here when we shaded it in. That 1 half, if you look at the tenths, is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tenths. And now we are ready to add. Now we are ready to add these two things. 4 tenths plus 5 tenths, well, this is going to be equal to a certain number of tenths. It's going to be equal to a certain number of tenths. It's going to be equal to 4 plus 5 tenths. 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5 tenths. And we can once again visualize that. Let me draw our grid again. So 4 plus 5 tenths, I'll do it actually on top of the paint can right over here. So let me color in 4 tenths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then let me color in the 5 tenths. And notice that was exactly the 4 tenths here, which is exactly the 2 fifths. Let me color in the 5 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
and 5. And so how many total tenths do we have? We have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 of the tenths are now shaded in. We had 9 tenths of a gallon of paint. So now to answer their question, will they have the gallon they need? No, they have less than a whole. A gallon would be 10 tenths. They only have 9 tenths. So no, they do not have enough of a gallon. Now another way you could have thought about this, you could have said, hey, look, 2 fifths is less than a half. And you could even visualize that right over here. So I have something less than a half plus a half. I'm not going to get a whole. So either way, you could think about it. But this way, at least we can think it through with actually adding the fractions.